a short little session in Adobe Premiere Pro. We're going to look at how to get set up, how to work with some video clips and audio. So to begin I'm going to open Premiere Pro. I'll click on the icon there and I'll be asked if I want to create a new project. I'll call this one TTP session and I'll save it to my desktop where I can find it easily. Go OK. Now once it's opened we are faced with this interface here. What I like to do to begin with is to just keep it on the editing part here. Uh, if we look, look along the top here we have all these different tabs so just click on the editing tab if it's not already there. Um, and what we need to do first of all is to import some media. There's a number of ways to do this. We can go File, Import and navigate to where we've saved our footage. In my case it's here. Or we can simply just have our footage ready here and I'll just drag this entire folder over here. So I drag it here when it says Import Media to Start and now I've got a folder. Now in this folder that I've prepared here I've got three folders. I've got one for images, one for footage and one for audio. Now I actually like to begin with audio because it gives me something to pace my video towards. Um, I'll just take a... I've got a number of tracks here. I might just take this one here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to drag that over down onto the bottom right hand side click it there and now what that's done is it's close that and close that it's created a new timeline for me so now our interface begins to look a little differently so now I've got this um, screen here and this is my play part so I'll just click on play so that's great that's playing my music for me um, now I'm going to import some footage. Again, there are a number of ways to import footage. I've got a number of clips here. Um, so there's one way I can do it. I can click on, on the actual video clip and I'm presented with this here. So this is like a preview of what I've got. And now I've got this particular clip here is 13 seconds long. I might just want say four or five seconds of that so I'll just start it a little bit and I'll click on this little tab here and go mark in. So that's where my video will start and I'll move it on for about four or five seconds and then go mark out. And once I've got what I've wanted so I can just play that now to see what I have and it shows me what I need. I'm happy with that so now I can just drag that down onto my timeline and there we go. So that's one way to import to bring a footage onto, onto the timeline. Another way which is probably a little easier is just to drag the entire clip down here. Um, I'll drag a number of them down here. And as you can see they're all different lengths. They're all different sizes. As you notice, these clips have come with audio tracks already selected here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of that audio on the bottom. So I'll just select all my tracks by pressing the whoops, keeping the shift key down. And now I'm just going to go right click, unlink, and now I'm just going to select the audio tracks underneath and delete. So I'm done. Again, I'm going to select all these guys now, everything I've imported, and I'm going to drag it down there. Now, to work with this timeline, uh, sometimes it's easier to be able to zoom in and zoom out. Um, I've got this little bar on the bottom here, and by dragging that this way, it just makes everything bigger. And similarly, on this side, if I just drag that down, I'm able to see a little bit more. I'm going to do the same thing with my audio as well. Um, okay, so I've got my first clip, and I, I just what I like to do is to pace my clips to the sound 
of the audio. So I'll just start it with this, I'll come to the first beat. I'll maybe start there, I'll bring my first clip there and then I'll listen carefully. That's the second beat there, let's go back a frame. Okay, as you can see over here I've got I've got these black lines here and that means that my sequence is not the size I want it to be. So I'll just go here, File, Sequence, Settings. Let's see what I've got it at. Yeah, so my, this has been set up for um, 4K, so I'm going to make just change that to um, H2, well I'll leave it on Custom. Uh, now I'll just make that 1920 by 1080 and that's what my footage is so it's, it's nice to work in okay uh, it's nice to work in what the original footage is okay I can zoom in and out by using this little scroll bar here okay and there we go so that looks a bit better let's play so that's where I want my clip to change. So what I'll, what I'll do to make it a bit easier for myself is I'll move that one on top. And then by putting my cursor to the end here, this little red thing comes on. I'll just drag that, oops, I'll just drag that across to, the, to there. And it should just snap onto the end. But now these two clips should be the same size. I can make that a bit wider in the bottom by stretching this across. If I put my cursor between the two clips, I go right click, ripple delete, and that should close my gap. I'll do the same thing now. That closes the gap. So what I'll do now is I'll move that one on top and put it over a little bit, drag it this way, drag it this way, and they should be reasonably well timed together. So I'll go start. by eye and then we can fine tune everything later. And now. now I want to cut this clip here. I don't want to because I want to use it still. So what I'll do is I'll stretch this out a little bit. And if I come over here you've got this little razor. I click on that and I put the razor there and I go snap now back onto my selection tool move that along this way I'll go ripple delete close that up and now let's have a look so I'll go actually I might just start this one here where the music changes and just stretch that across like that. What does that look like? So we have our hero now walking into the sunset. Mix up our footage a little bit and maybe drag this guy down here like this. It's really up to you which, which clips you use. Uh, get rid of that. Move those along there like that. And just when the music changes, I'll just Cut that guy there, click on my selection tool again, and maybe put this the rest of this clip in here. And just close that one up. 
ripple delete, back to our hero again. So now let's see what we have. Beginning to assemble some sort of a visual story here. Um, what we might do next is show you how to work with titles. So I might want to put some subtitles on here, just some words. Um, our theme here is heroes, so we we'll write something heroic, I guess. So what I'll go, go now, do now is go up to where it says title, new title, default still. And we'll give it a name, hero one. You don't have to do that. Okay. I'll just close this little bin over here. Okay, now what I need to do is just drag out my little text tool there. If you haven't done that, you need to be selected on this type tool and just drag out a box. Um, I'm going to type in something like courage. Not bravery, courage is not about. All right. So there's a pretty ordinary little statement there, but anyway. So now we've got this text box here, so we need to place it in the right position. Um, you may notice we've got these little frames here. What they are is what's called save areas. And they allow for, when you finish your video, sometimes to fit on a TV or something that may need to be cropped. And we don't want to lose our title. So these are safe areas because we know that our, our type will be uh, visible on any device. So the next thing I'll do is click it in the center just to center it all up. Um, now, I don't particularly like that typeface or font. So what I'll do is I'll highlight my text. I'll change this. And we've got a list of fonts now that we can choose from. Um, there's quite a lot there, so I just type in the one I want, which in this case is Heidi TC. Okay, now it's become rather large. So what I'll do is I'll, underneath here we've got font size. I'll just click on that, keep my left mouse down and just drag that down to get it to maybe 60 or so. And I'll change it from light to medium. And just one more thing, I'll stick a little shadow here on the bottom that just makes it stick out a little bit. So when I finish creating my type or title, um, I'll just close this box. And what happens is it should then be saved in our media browser here somewhere. Click up. Oh, where's it gone? Oh, sorry, it's over here. I've got it over here. Um, let's have a look. Where is it? Uh, we'll change that to list. It might be easier to see it. And it's probably changed in footage. There we are. It's in our footage file. I'll just drag that on top here. Now what it does is it only, it only creates one frame, which is 1 25th of a second. So what I'll do is I'll stretch that out so as I can see it. And then move this and then stretch it along a little bit. Now a good rule of thumb for working with type on screen is to read it in your mind for about twice and that tells with the length of time it needs for somebody to be able to read it comfortably. Okay, so that's about the length. Alright, so 
So now I'll stretch this back out a little bit now. Uh, I'll make that just go fit, that a little bit smaller. Okay. Now I want to do my next piece of type. I'll double, I'll click on this again. Um, and rather than have to reformat everything, what I'll do is I'll go up here where it's got T, new title based on current title. Click on that and go OK. And I'll just rewrite something there. Courage is not about winning. Hmm. Bravery. Okay, now what the reason that looks like it's all messed up there is because my, t my playhead is over there. So if I put it there, I can see it better. Bravery is not about fearlessness. It's a bit ordinary, but anyway, I'll just close that. And now this has ended up over here. I'll click it down here, drag it across here, resize it to suit the one before, maybe with a little space between it. Um, okay and I'll now double click it again do the same thing again just go new title based on current title go OK and reword this and I'll say Something like, oops, say something like, the hero knows fear and faces it. Okay, just go OK and just close that. It's now over here. I'll drag it down again on top. Um, I'll resize it to suit and then I'll just click it so it fits on over here. Maybe I will close them up. Okay. Now what you're gonna notice is gonna be very jerky. do now is to soften it up a little bit with some transitions. So what we'll do is we'll go over to effects, uh, video transitions, um, dissolve, and I'm just going to put a dissolve in between these tech titles so as they just blend into each other nicely and I'll put one at the front and at the end. Okay, and then what I'll do is I'll stretch this first clip over, actually, that way, and I'll put a transition at the beginning. If it'll allow me to, I may have to cut it. There we go. And we go back to the in, back to the beginning. to create some sort of a little story here. Um, now the next thing we want to do is some of these shots are a bit washed out looking a little bit not very vibrant so next thing I'm going to do is work on some of the color in, in these shots. So now we're on the editing tab here we click on the color tab and everything changes. So I'll pick, click the first clip double click that over here I've got these uh, basic color correction tools. 
So the first one I'll go is basic color correction. And one of the first things we need to do is make sure we've got the right white balance. So I'll pick my shot and pick something that's white in the shot. Click on that and that just makes sure that all our levels and everything are correct. Next thing we can do, well this is very much up to us, we can go, we can warm up the shot a little bit or we can make it cooler. I think it might make it a little bit warmer. We can change the tint a little bit, make it a bit more red, a little bit more green, more blue. I think it's okay. Now we can either, this is a useful little slider here for if our shot is overexposed or underexposed. We can bring the exposure down a little bit, that gives us a bit more contrast. And of course we have the contrast button here. Uh, and all the time we can look at before and after in these two screens here. Maybe throw some shadows in. Um, maybe highlight the whites a little bit more. And then crush the blacks a little bit more. And now we have this very moody looking sky. Okay, so that's one way of doing shots. I'm just cleaning them up a little bit. Now, Premiere also comes with um, some inbuilt templates or creative color grading um, tools. So if we click on the creative button, and now I'll just double click on that so that that appears up here. Um, we've got this little creative tab, and underneath here we've got a tab that says look. So I'm going to click on that, and then we're giving a selection of different looks. Um, so these are already pre-done for us. We can make that really cold looking. I don't really like that. Or else we can try something different. Um, these just give a nice subtle little um, changes. Now if I go say gold. Now once we've selected a particular color that we like, um, Gold orange. We can also correct it using these tools down here. We can actually saturate the shot a bit more, put more color into it. Or if we want to go black and white, we can. So we can saturate the color a little bit more. Um, we can sharpen it a little bit, but just be a little bit careful not to do too much. It starts to break up. We can make it a bit faded, or we can put some vibrance into it. Okay, so now, well now let's see what we've got here. We'll just go play. So it looks a lot more lively, a lot more filming. Now we can do that for all of our shots. Um, again, I'll just, I tend to just use the basic color corrector. So this shot here, I might want to make it look a bit more Blue. Actually, that one looks quite nice now. It's got a bit more moody. I will underexpose it a little bit to make it a bit more mysterious and put some contrast in there. Um, pump up the highlights just to make that sun a little, little bit brighter. Um, put a little bit of shadow, maybe some more white, and then crush the blacks a tiny little bit more. And maybe saturate my shot a little bit now. So it's gone from being this kind of very washed out looking shot to being something that's quite interesting. So I'll just play that a little bit more. Now, with this one here, it's kind of similar to the first one. So what I might do is just copy the effects that I've put on this one and put them onto this without me having to redo everything. So all I've got to do is right click, copy, um, and then right click, paste, attributes and at this stage all I want to do is paste in the color effects that I've used and let's see what happens. 
There we go. So that kind of makes that shot look similar to that shot. And similarly with this one, I'll just go copy and I'll click on this guy here. I'll go paste attributes. Again, just copying the color effects. This one here, I'll just do this one manually uh, with a basic color corrector. Uh, again, I'll just click on my white. The reason for that is that this is a this is a shot that's been taken from a drone from a GoPro, and GoPro is not the best footage to try and work with um, when you're trying to color grade. So I'll just do this manually. It tends to break up a little bit, so I'll underexpose it a little bit just to give us a bit of shadow. As you can see, as soon as I start working with this footage, it, the sky breaks up a little bit over here. So I can't really do a hell of a lot with this footage here. Maybe crush the blacks a little bit. I might actually get... If I pull the whites out, that will tend to get rid of that problem I've got with the sky there. So it just looks a little bit better than what this one does, originally looks like. Okay, so I'll just play that see what it looks like. That's an interesting little effect that we've got there. So I'll just leave that and I might finish off now by telling you how to export your movie. So I've got that much of my movie done, so what I might do is just export it now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the last frame and I'm just going to press O for out. And that's, where, that's how much I want to export of my movie at the moment. Um, and I'll go File, Export, Media, um, it's set on H.264, I'll change the name to, it's gone, it's gone directly to the music name, I'll just go Hero, I'll go Save, and Export. It can take a little while to do this, but for now, that's what we need to know about making movies with Premiere Pro.